Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Slant Lens, we're going to review a bag by Ona. You know, I saw these bags by Ona when we were over at Sammy's. They make a great line of not just bags, but backpacks. Uh, they sent me this one. I was very interested to see what it was like. You know, it's a very retro kind of hipster look at bags. It's interesting how they've taken a messenger bag and worked it into a very nice camera bag. Because as you carry this on your shoulder, it doesn't look like you have a camera bag, which I really like that. If I'm in New York and I'm going to run around, I've got something on my shoulder, it doesn't look like I'm carrying a camera bag. It just looks like I've got a briefcase with me. So when you open it up, it's got clasps on the bottom here. You push these buttons and it pops open. You don't have to open these buckles, so you can get in and out of it very quickly. I like the amount of space it has. I can get my laptop in here, which is a 15-inch laptop. It's a little tight in there, but I can squeeze it in. And I've got three dividers, so I can take my shoot around camera with the 2470. I've got room for my 11 to 30 millimeter and I've also got my 70 uh, to 200. So that's a nice set for me. That's, uh, that's the perfect amount of equipment for me because I like to have all three of those lenses with me. I've got everything in this one bag, throw it on my shoulder, I'm ready to go. In the front, I just simply throw in a battery and some cards and uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, it's a perfect setup. I also usually carry a camera strap with me in there so I can throw a strap on my camera and carry it around my neck if I want to. But it's just the right amount of equipment. I do wish they had put an extra divider in there because the dividers were short and I like to have the dividers go all the way up so it covers my 7200 and also keeps my lens off from this camera from hit hitting the other things. That's the only thing I wish is there was just another divider was a little taller. So excellent bag, extremely well thought out. I mean, obviously leather's a little bit of a problem when you're in the rain. You know, I would get myself some kind of a, a rain cover or something uh, for this if I'm gonna carry it in the rain. I think you would need this. I think it is waterproofed, you know, which means you can get into a certain amount of water with it without any problem. It's got a great so shoulder strap that's padded, feels good on my shoulder, adjustable so I can get this height up and down depending on your body length and what you like to, uh, where you like this bag to sit on your hip. But from a looks point, the distressed leather, the, the retro look, I think, are fabulous. And so I will use this as a camera bag. And, uh, you know, camera bags are very much a personal experience. What works for you? What's large enough? What's small enough? What's going to be good on your shoulder? What are you going to want to carry around? So just find a bag. But I would check out the Ono bags. They're great bags. They really have a great line of bags that you should really see what's there and if it works for you. So keep those cameras rolling. Keep on clicking. The hardest part of the process of doing imagery is doing estimates. It's the scariest thing a photographer ever has to deal with. How do I estimate something? If you go to theslantedlens.com slash estimating, a digital download is there. It will teach you all the things you need to do to put your estimates together. It's got templates, terms and agreements, everything you need to know to be able to put your estimate together. So go to theslantedlens.com slash estimating.